hey guys welcome back to our channel it's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link of whatsoever you wish to see on this channel for us to react to or me to react to um down below name and link down below will be very very appreciated find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse say hi we'll say hi back our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to can muslims wish merry christmas with the intention of building relationship a relation building relation with that um Without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adil Ahmed. I'm a 16-year-old student doing my GCSEs. Um, and my question regards uh, Dr. Naik's statement previously about saying Merry Christmas to a non-Muslim uh, makes us somehow submit the fact that, well, the idea that uh, Christ was the Son of God and it makes us one of them. Now, that sort of shocked me in a sense that um, surely Allah uh, in his uh, almightiness would know that my intention to saying to someone Merry Christmas is as you said just to improve relations now the thing is that most people uh, at least of my generation the people who I come in contact with don't actually celebrate Christmas uh, because they uh, celebrate Christ's birth but actually it's a commercial thing to get the latest PS2 or whatever it is um, so could you just please expand on that because I'm sort of confused how saying Merry Christmas could uh, somehow um, bring blasphemy. The brother asked a question that he wants to wish Merry Christmas to his friend so that he can build relationships. So tomorrow he'll ask me the question, why can't I have a peg of alcohol to build relationship? Why not? Why? What's wrong? Why can't I eat some pork with them? Why can't I go to church and worship Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? See, you don't have to do anything haram for doing dawah. For reaching the goals, you cannot use wrong means, brother. What is haram for them is haram for you also. When you are wishing Merry Christmas to them, you are agreeing that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December, and you are agreeing that he is the begotten son of God, which is shirk. Why it is wrong? Because the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the begotten son of God. Now, irrespective of whether he may be a practicing Christian or not, they celebrate because it's the birthday. Why don't they celebrate any other day? So if you tell your Christian friend, okay, forget, if you don't believe in that, let's celebrate instead of 25th of December, let's celebrate on the 10th of October. Will they agree? They'll say no. But that does not mean don't do that. I do that on Christmas. I ask them that this is the Christmas season. Why is it Christmas? So they tell me, oh, it's Christmas because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on 25th of December. Who is this Jesus, peace be upon him? Oh, Jesus is the begotten son of God. Then I tell him that can you prove to me from one unequivocal statement from the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that he's God of Isaac, worship me. I do dawah. Why do you have to use wrong means for doing dawah? You ask the question, is saying Merry Christmas wrong means? I'm telling you it is wrong. Okay. 100% wrong according to me. If you don't know what Christmas is celebrated for, like by mistake, if you don't know it is alcohol and you think it is Pepsi and you have it, Allah may forgive you. So if you don't know what is Christmas standing for being in UK, do you know what Christmas stands for? Well, as of now, Why I think... Why do you come from somewhere outside? Well, uh, as of now, I think it stands for a do commercial... Do you know what? Do I think know? it stands for a commercial business. That's what it stands Sorry? for. It stands for a commercial business, a, a place where people give each other presents. No, no, commercial. That's what is the excuse? No, don't... It's don't a holiday. Push. I'm asking the question, do you know what is the excuse for commercial business? What is the excuse? Why yeah. do they celebrate Christmas? For what? Because it's the birth of Christ. Right, finish. You know about it? And do they consider Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as the son of God, begotten son? Do you know that? Yeah, I know that. If but you I... know that, and then if you wish Merry Christmas, it is haram. If you didn't know, if you're coming from Timbuktu, If you're coming from Timbuktu and you did not know and in ignorance, if you wish, Allah may forgive you. If you don't know that that is alcohol and if you think it is Pepsi and you drink it, Allah may forgive you. But if you know it and you think you're building relationship, you know what you're doing? You're building a place in the Jahannam. So therefore, brother, for reaching any good means, you never have to adopt wrong means. 
you have to go as the guidance of the Quran and the Sunnah. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhir da'wan, alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin. Uh, the kid actually asked a very very interesting question um personally i don't think christians should be celebrating um christmas but um, this is a tough one you know what if muslims were celebrating something and other religion perceived it was a bad bad celebration you know should you not wish those Muslims well? Understand that I don't think wishing someone a Merry Christmas is personally taking part of it. I don't think so because many Muslim um, festivals that go on, they invite Muslims, invite non-Muslims to celebrate with them. So should other people also say no, we're not, if we don't want to take part of it, which I don't understand, you know, about the world. You really don't have to believe in something. There's a guy that plays soccer. Just the other day, um, he posted a picture of his, him and his family, like with the Christmas tree behind them in Christmas pajamas. I've forgotten his name, but I mentioned him on this channel before. And he's Muslim, but the wife is not. You know, does that make him a bad person? I don't know. This is what I'm saying because if you want to have um, celebrations such as Ramadan and people are willing to say, you know what, I would love to take part of it, then accept people for what they are. You have to accept people for what they are and the holidays they celebrate, you know. The Chinese have a different New Year. The Ethiopians have a different they are living in a completely different year than the rest of the world so what do we have to say about that should we refrain from saying happy new year from those people or uh, merry christmas whenever they choose to celebrate their christmas that's one thing i would really really love to know otherwise um if you don't believe in something you can just wish someone well even if you don't celebrate um your birthday i can say happy birthday to you but i don't have to I mean, even if you celebrate your birthday, I can say happy birthday to you, but if I don't celebrate birthdays, I don't have to come to your house party. I don't have to come to your events. You know, the least polite thing I can do is say happy birthday and move on, you know, and that's it. I don't think that costs people a lot. But then again, you can't ch change people's minds. If this is what these people believe, if this is what these other people people believe and the third group of people believe something we should all live in a world where we respect each other's um situations let me know what you guys actually think about this video what are your thoughts and contributions just comment down below if there's anything you want me to react to just uh give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video